This new release of Plant Factory introduces leaf clusters. Here I have a 3D model of twigs and leaves. Using the new leaf cluster feature, I can turn this model into a set of textures, which is then applied on simple low resolution geometry. When setting up a scene for a leaf cluster expert, you should check that there is no intersecting geometry in your plant. There also shouldn't be too many overlapping leaves in one place, because this will look strange in a baked texture. I already took care of problematic areas in this scene, and in your own projects you might want to do some manual editing on your model before baking it to a cluster. Before we now bake this model, let's turn our attention to the leaf node in the graph first. When creating a leaf cluster, Plant Factory both bakes the model into a texture, and it creates a ready-to-use component which is based on the leaf node type. A leaf node can either operate as a single plane, as two crossed planes, or as three crossed planes. The leaf cluster feature supports all three modes, and based on which mode you choose, multiple views of the model will be rendered. So let's go to File, Export, and Export as Leaf Cluster. In the settings, we can select which material channels to bake from the 3D model and what leaf mode the component should use. With leaf, a front view is rendered, with two cross planes, a front and a top view are rendered, and the three cross planes add a side view render to the export as well. The export can take a bit based on the resolution of the texture and the complexity of the model. The leaf cluster export is finished and we can now load the newly created leaf component from the component browser and make some further changes to the pre-configured leaf node or change the leaf node mode afterwards. The baked leaf cluster is useful for creating low resolution models for games and other real-time scenarios. In this scene I imported the leaf cluster component and added a geometry target selector before it. You can build both a high-resolution model for offline rendering and a real-time model in the same scene, which makes it easy to reuse node setups throughout both models. The geometry target selector switches between different paths in the node graph, based on the currently selected geometry type. So the leaf component will only be computed when the geometry mode is set to real-time, and all of these nodes here will only be computed for the offline geometry mode. On the meshing tab, I can now switch back and forth between the high definition and the real-time version, and all the twigs and leaves are swept accordingly. We will continue to add more features for real-time plant design our next releases, so for now, thanks for watching and enjoy the new leaf cluster feature.